we have studied the concept of electric field and we have also seen how useful it is when we have some complex charge distributions and we want to find out the electric field due to this complex charge distribution and then we can also find out the force that it exerts on a positive and negative charge. Now let us take a minute and see how we can show an electric field graphically. That means if I want to visualize electric field lines on paper, how do I do that? And to show electric field graphically, we draw something that is called as electric field lines. And there are a few rules to draw electric field lines. So let's see what they are. The first rule is that the electric field lines must be drawn such that the electric field vector is tangential to the electric field line at every point. So E is tangential to electric field lines elect at each point. Second is um, that if I have a number of electric field lines and if I have a surface perpendicular to those electric field lines then the number of lines through that surface so the number of electric field lines through a perpendicular surface must be proportional to the strength of the electric field at that surface. So strength of electric field at that surface. And let's see what that means. So what that means is, let me first draw uh, electric field lines for a positive charge. So if I have a positive Q charge, then what is my electric field going to be? At each point, the electric field, um, let me use my orange pen, at each point, my electric field is going to be acting away. So my E at each point is going to be in this direction. Now. As I move away, the strength of the electric field will reduce and let us see how the electric field line shows that and so this will be my electric field as I move away. Now to draw a line which is tangent to each to the direction of electric field vector at each point my electric field line will be like this and these are my electric field lines. And if I draw a surface, let me say this surface which is perpendicular to the electric field lines, then we can see that more lines are passing through the surface as it is closer to Q, whereas less lines will pass through the same surface as it moves away from Q. And so this is a good representation which shows us the direction which is acting away from the positive charge and the some idea of the magnitude as we move away from the positive Q charge and this is how we represent electric field lines uh, visually. Now obviously um, it follows that because E is tangential to the electric field line at each point it, the lines will go away from a positive charge and will come towards a negative charge and so in general the third rule is that the electric field lines originate that means they act away from a positive charge so originate at positive charge and they terminate that means they end on a negative charge and in many cases if you just have a positive charge like this then we assume that all these electric field lines are terminating on a negative charge which lies at infinity so electric field line always has to originate as a positive charge and terminate as a negative charge. Then the second thing we said that since the tangent to the electric field at a point gives you the direction of electric field, what that gives us is that electric field can have only one direction. So it is not possible for the electric field lines to intersect because 
if they intersect so if you have two electric field lines intersecting then at this point there are two tangent one is acting in this direction one is acting in this direction and theoretically what that means is that the electric field at that point has two directions and that is not possible so electric field lines do not intersect and the final thing is uh, the rule is that the number of electric field lines originating uh, electric field lines originating at a positive charge or terminating on a negative charge is proportional to the strength or the magnitude of the charge the strength of the magnitude of the charge so we have four things or uh, five things one is that electric field is tangential to the electric field line at every point that means that the tangent to the electric field line will give you the direction of e and from that we can also say that if i have a positive charge q placed at any point here the direction of force acting on this charge can be given by the tangent to the electric field line so the force on a plus q charge is acts tangential to electric field line and that follows because uh, the electric field is tangential to the electric field lines and obviously the force is along the electric field and also that if i have a charge minus q then the force on charge minus q will act opposite direction opposite and tangential okay so with this in mind let us look at um, an electric field let me draw an electric field say i have a charge q a charge positive q and i will draw a charge negative q nearby and let us see how we can draw electric field lines using what we have developed till now i want to visualize how will the electric field act around these charges so let us see what is going to be the direction of electric field certainly as i go from plus q to minus q the e due to plus q is going to act in this direction the electric field due to minus q is again in this direction if when i reach at a point above it and let's say below it the electric field due to plus q is away from it electric field due to minus q acts towards it and so the resultant is yet in this direction similarly in this direction electric field acts that way like this and the resultant acts in this direction at a point here electric field is going to act away from q at a point here the resultant electric field is going to act towards q now remember when i am writing i'm showing this electric field you should remember that this electric field is the electric field due to the plus q charge and the vector addition of electric field due to the minus q charge at each point now when i am say at a point here somewhere the electric field due to the plus q charge will be stronger the electric field due to the minus q charge will be weaker and the resultant is going to be along that direction so we get a general idea and if we plot many more such curves what we will get is that my electric field acts along these lines so i draw a tangent to these points and this is the direction and this is how my electric field will act so this is it let me draw a couple of more and it goes like this okay this is going to act like that and like that oh i'm sorry this is the direction and remember that these lines though i have terminated it they are eventually go going to go and terminate on the negative q charge similarly this line is also eventually going to go around and terminate on the negative q charge and so this is a general visualization from this you can say that the electric field is much stronger between the two charges and it gets weaker as we go away from them and it really gets much more weaker as we go 
uh, on the left or right of the both charges. We can also say about a direction that direction of force that a positive Q charge will experience when it is placed anywhere here. Say if I place it here, I certainly know that the force on a positive Q charge will act in this direction. And uh, that gives us a fairly good visual representation of how electric field will behave. Let us see a, for a couple of more. Um, now one important thing that I should mention before we go to any couple of more things is that you must note that we are showing this on a paper but electric field lines are actually in 3D so if I have a charge in space the electric field lines will be going out of the charge in all the directions in three dimensions and we are cons constricted to the paper and that is why we are drawing this on two direction in 2D but you should remember that this is always 3D and one more thing that you must remember is that Though we are representing the electric field with a few number of chosen lines, actually electric field is not only along these lines. Electric field is over the entire area and we can draw only a few lines just to represent it. So it is over entire area. And let us see then at two interesting uh, electric fields and so I have this. In the first one, I have a charge 2Q and a charge minus Q. Now what is going to happen is, as per our rule, that the number of electric field lines is pro proportional to the strength or magnitude of the charge. Twice the number of lines will originate from 2Q charge than the one terminating on Q charge. So of all the lines originating here, half will terminate on minus Q here and the rest half will assume are terminating on a negative charge at infinity. So that is a fundamental difference between the figure we saw before and this figure. In that figure, all the lines from the plus Q were terminating on the minus Q. Here, because twice the number of lines are originating from plus Q, half of them will terminate on minus Q and the rest half will terminate on a negative charge at infinity. Second one is, let us look at the plus Q and plus Q charges. Now these charges are going to repel and so the electric field lines of these charges will always be repelling. And this is the distribution of electric field around these two charges. 